guys in today's video i will be discussing about uh, the creeks so this topic is related to piece of a black shoal option pricing model and this has been examined um, uh, a number of time in a p4 paper okay so this can come in the example around four to five marks so this is only theoretically examined okay now before i move on towards the creek let us first of all develop some basic understanding Okay, now basically BSOP was developed by Greek. Now Greek has given certain terminologies. So we have total of five Greek terms. So we will look at those terms one by one. Now basically by using BSOP, we can compute the value of call or put option. So in order to compute the value of call or put option, we need five variables. That is we need PA, PE, R, S and T. PA that is your share price, PE is your exercise price, R is risk free rate, S is uh, your standard deviation and finally we have uh, T that is time to expiry. Now if any of these variable is missing then I cannot compute the value of call or put option right. Okay now if uh, now let's say if time to expiry changes then the value of call and put option will change. It will not remain constant, right? Because when we are computing the value of D1 and D2, so for that we need T, we need time to expire. So if that changes, so the value of call and put option will change. So that is mathematically proven. Okay, now apart from this, if I need to buy the option for let's suppose one year, so premium will be different. But if I need to buy the option for let's suppose six months, so obviously the premium will be different, right? Like if you go and visit airline website and if you take the option for three months, premium will be different. If I take the option for five months, premium will be different. Okay. So basically what I'm trying to say is that if any of the variable changes, that is P, A, R, S, and T, if any of these changes, then the value of call and put option will change. Okay, so we, we use Greek symbol. Uh, that will basically represent the relationship between uh, the change in value variable and the change in the value of call or put option. Okay, so if uh, so, basically through Greek, you will see that if any of these variable changes, then the value of call and put option will change. Okay, so in total, we have got five Greeks. Okay, so we have delta. So for, for PA, uh, we have uh, the relevant Greek is Delta. And uh, we have one more uh, Greek for PA that is Gamma. Then for PE, we have uh, we don't have any Greek because PE is your exercise price. And we know that exercise price can never change, right? That is fixed. So obviously, uh, we don't have any Greek for uh, PE. Right, because through Greeks, we are, we are saying that if any of the variable changes, then value of call or put option will change, right? So PE cannot change, so that's why it doesn't have any Greek. Uh, then we have R, that is your risk free rate. So for that, the Greek is Rho. Uh, then we have S, standard deviation. For that, the Greek is Vega. And then we have T, time to expiry. And the relevant Greek is Theta. So one by one, we will be discussing all of these Greeks. So first of all, I'm discussing Theta. Okay, now, now basically, if uh, if there is any change in uh, theta, uh, so, uh, so sorry, basically, if theta will basically measure that by how much percentage the value of call and put option will change if there is any change in time to expiry. Okay, so what will theta measure that by how much percentage the value of call and put option will change if there is any change in time to expiry. Okay, now basically, obviously, as uh, as a, uh, as the time will start to go down, so that will call uh, that will cause a change in the value of call or put option, right? Like let's say as the, as the time will come down, so let's say if you have an option exercisable in 12 months time from now so today uh, you, uh, you have 365 days then tomorrow you have 364 days left 
then after that 363 days left and uh, and so on okay so as, as the time will start to go down so definitely your t will change right t will uh, change as you will keep on moving towards the expiry date so obviously t will change and if t is changing then the value of call input option will change so that is what theta will measure okay okay now next we are discussing ru okay so this ru this is representing the variable r okay rf risk free rate so if your risk free rate if your government rate changes so again the value of option will change right okay now if you remember in d1 and d2 calculation we uh, we consider r right uh, so if r changes if the risk free rate changes then definitely the value of call and put option will change okay so this uh, this for the uh, this was a mathematical impact but in reality if government increases the risk free rate then investor will switch towards uh, government bonds right from share market they will switch towards government bonds because they are uh, they are increasing the return right so definitely from the share market they will uh, shift towards the government bonds so this rule this will measure the change in value of option due to change in rf okay let, then let me tell you one more point like if you remember uh, we used this r in b of discount factor right b of discount factor is e to the power of minus rt so don't you think that if this r changes then b of discount factor will change and ultimately the value the uh, ultimately the value of option will change right because if you remember in call option formula that is pa into n d1 right minus pe into n d2 into e to the power of rt right that is the formula so don't you think that if discount factor changes in the present value of pe will change and ultimately the value of call option will also change okay okay now next we are discussing vega so vega is basically representing the variable s standard deviation okay so if standard deviation your volatility changes so again option value will change right so vega will measure the change in option value due to change in volatility due to change in standard deviation now we discussing gamma okay now now if there is any change in current share price okay so again option value will change right so gamma is basically representing the variable pa your share price right so if the share price changes so definitely the option value will change like let's say right now the current share price is let's say the current share price is right now 10 dollars and you have a right to buy you have a right to buy the shares at let's suppose eight dollars so definitely the writer of the option he will ask you to pay a premium right okay so today he will ask you to pay a premium of two because if i exercise the option today so i will be exercising at eight dollars so i can go and i can sell those shares for how much ten so today i will be making a gain of two right okay so he will ask you to pay a premium of 2 plus he will also take the premium for time value as well okay so just imagine if the share price increases to 12 dollar so definitely premium will change right okay because you have a right to buy uh, the option at 8 dollars okay so due to change in share price option value will change so this is measured by gamma Okay, so gamma will me uh, will measure that by how much percentage the option value will change if there is any change in share price. Okay, now lastly we are discussing uh, delta. Okay. All right. So delta uh, that is basically representing the variable P A that is your share price. Okay. so delta 
is actually the sensitivity of the change in share, uh, share of the change in the value of option caused by the change in pa now delta is the only one in p4 where you could be asked to do some calculation okay so you must have studied the topic of delta h so this is the only degree where you will be expected to perform some calculation so i will be discussing that in the i will be discussing it briefly okay so like first of all i'm discussing delta h for call option okay now let's suppose you have written some call options okay it means you have sold call option you are the seller of call option so you have given the other person the right to buy the shares from me right okay now the buyer of call option i am the seller okay so it's so the buyer of call option he can exercise the option in the future against you okay now obviously buyer will only exercise the option if there is a gain for them okay so if in the future if the buyer exercises the option then me, uh, then you as the seller you need to have some shares so that i can give to that person right okay uh, the buyer will give you the exercise price and you need to give uh, that person some shares right so now the question so basically the point is that you you must be having some shares okay so that you can hedge yourself so the question is how many shares do you need to have right so it cannot be one is to one you can't say that since i have given one option so i have to give him one share no that is not the case otherwise you know this topic wouldn't exist okay so basically delta h it is uh, it will basically tell you how many shares you need to hold in relation to the options written okay so it will tell you that how many shares you need to hold in relation to the options that you have written okay so basically the delta of call is in d1 okay so you must be knowing how to perform the calculation for uh, delta for call option now next i'm discussing delta h for put option okay now let's suppose i have shares of abc company so i'm worried that the share price can decrease right so whenever we have shares of any company so we are facing the risk that share price might fall so i'm facing this risk right so in order to hedge this risk what you can do is you can buy put options okay you can buy put option all right so i have told you how you can hedge this risk but now the question is that how many put option do i need to buy in order to hedge my investment right so i have given you a solution right but now the, again the question is that how many put option do i need to buy in order to hedge my investment so that answer is basically provided by delta okay so delta will tell you that how many put option you need to buy in order to hedge your investment okay now delta of put is basically n minus d1 okay so that was all from uh, today's video i hope you guys liked the video so don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you